can't be by you all the time, but you're on my mind. You see, that you are one of the special, incredible people in my life. I know I'm gonna make you. Yo, what it do? It's your boy, FTC King. I hope everybody has a great, amazing day. I know I might look like I'm mad, but I literally was supposed to be awake since it's not something you ring, and I was supposed to be at the school already, but I snooze my alarm and it's like 10 30 so, so i'm about to go out that early right now uh and um i want to say uh happy mother's day to all the mexican mothers to my mother to my grandmother to all my aunts even though they're no longer here to cousins and all that who are in mexico happy mother's day to y'all my mother i got my mother here but my mother is mexican but we celebrate Mother's Day for her actually would be Sunday. So she gets two Mother's Day because she like half here, half there, you know what I'm saying? But happy Mother's Day to all the Mexican mothers out there. I don't want nobody to be like, oh, you're being racist. Like, no, it's just that today in Mexico they celebrate Mother's Day. So, happy mother, your Mexican mother, happy Mother's Day to you. And I will see y'all right now when I'm outside. Chill. Yo, so I'm outside already walking to. Walk into the school, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I kind of, you know what I'm saying, overslept because I didn't really get no sleep last night. So then it was funny because I was asleep and I, I was having a dream. And in that dream, there was a dog in that dream. I was petting it. When I freaking woke up, I was petting um it was my brother's cover because my brother's my baby brother's been sleeping with me as i was bed in this cover, i was i started i i woke up laughing and i, I slew the damn alarm because so i'm like man if this because it's cold outside today y'all over here in uh, in dallas it's freaking cold <laughs> like my mom had messaged me this morning talking about no she called me Oh, it's freaking cold. Da, da, da. I'm like, and I was like, man, my mom probably just be damn dramatic and shit. But then I was like, nah, cause like, honestly, I've been sleeping like without a shirt, and then I just sleep like in my boxes or whatever. So I'm like, she probably over exaggerating this shit. But now nah, I was cold though, and it's cold right now. So I'm actually wearing my H family hoodie. Uh, Cause I was gonna wear my jean jacket, but I'm like that shit ain't gonna, that shit ain't gonna cut it. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, so I'll catch you in a bit. So I'm about to jam, guys. So I'll catch you in a bit, though. Yo, what to do, TikTok? I just came on here. I wanted to say Feliz Dia de las Madres to all the mothers in Mexico, or all the Mexican mothers, because today is Mother's Day for Mexico. So. Much love from MTZK. Yo, what's up? What it do, squad? I'm just chilling, watching the game. Sorry I haven't been vlogging, but i just been dedicating my time to my mom, you know what I'm saying? And the game started about like an hour, or hold on, was it an hour? About to be an hour ago. So I'm on into the game, you know, when I'm into the game, I'm into the game. That's just what it is. So, and I, literally, I'm about to... Uh, my mom's in the shower right now. I'm about to take a shower when she gets out. And then I'm going to get um, my stuff ready for church tomorrow. Because mm, I'm going to church tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? My pastor done uh, messaged me. My pastor's wife, they done messaged me. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to church tomorrow. And, uh, you know, even though I'm in pain, even though I'm going through different things in my life right now I just gotta go you know I'm not at the best of life but I gotta go give thanks to God for my life at least you know what I'm saying so I'll see y'all in a bit though chill yo what's up what it do squad uh, I'm just chilling I already took a shower you know what I'm saying as I got my hat on uh still watching the game I know I said t on today's video I was gonna do like um from my fellas, you know, pick up lines like how to get a girl and stuff, but I kind of forgot until right now, last minute. Um, 
All I could say though, the only advice I could give is like, when you start talking to a girl, a girl or a woman, whatever the situation may be, um, just to remember always respect her. And even when things get ugly, there will be times where they will push your buttons and push your buttons and push your buttons. They will keep doing the same mistakes and not learn from their mistakes. But just try to be that man to not mess up. And I'm telling y'all that from a valuable lesson that I learned. Um, I never thought I would, you know, end up, like, you know, messing up. I didn't mess up. I didn't do nothing on my on my behalf. The only thing I messed up was being disrespectful. But that's because of stuff that happened, like, that was going on. And it just, you know, well, you know when you're mad? You just, you say things intentionally, like, not because you mean it. You just say it because you're pissed off at the time. So, you're going to say whatever just to say it. So, that's what I'm trying to say is, like, whatever you do, don't, whatever you do, don't, my bad. Whatever you do, don't say something, like, that you're going to regret later on, you know what I'm saying? Because then they'll be throwing it in your face like, well, you call me this and you said that. But they won't see the on the wrongs that they did. It's always going to be thrown at you that, oh, you said this and you said that. Well, yeah, of course, you know. We say things out of habit. We say things because, you know, we're not thinking straight. And all we're thinking about is like, hey, you know, you messed up. And, you know, you should have been more honest instead of lying, you know. And one thing I can say in a relationship too, it has to be a hundred and a hundred and a hundred and it has to be, you know, not just, oh, only I have to tell you where I'm at or where I'm going, or only you have to tell me where you're at and where you're going. And at the same time, it's like, don't lie, you know, if there's, if you're a, if you're a girl and there's going to be dudes be there, just tell your significant other, hey, you know, there's going to be dudes long as you ain't getting no pictures or you ain't fucking a nigga or touching the nigga or flirting with the nigga like it's all good and gravy but if you're gonna be that one to sit there and hide that shit like well how do you expect your significant other to feel you know what i'm saying that's where then the trust issues come along and it, it just gets nasty and dirty you know what i mean and, you know, of course, when you love somebody, you don't want to disrespect them and you don't want to hurt their feelings. But at the same time, if you see they're hurting your feelings and not giving two, two Fs about your feelings, it's like, why should you give them that thing to be like, oh, and then they could sit there and be like, oh, you know, be better than me. But it's not about being better. It's about being 100 and 100. And, you know, a lot of people don't see it that way. And you see couples that actually work out and have their stuff straight together is because they fight for their love and they don't let nothing or nobody come in between. When you start letting people come in between and telling you how, you know, how for you to treat your significant other, like when they start telling you like, oh no, you shouldn't tell him where you're going. You shouldn't tell him this and this and that. You don't listen to all that because at the end of the day, a relationship is about two. It's not about, you know, the person and the person that you're with and their mama and their daddy and their brothers and sisters, nieces, nephews, aunts, uncles, cousins, grandmas, grandpas. It's not about that. It's about relationship has to do with two people. So, of course, if you're going to go listen to what everybody else says, of course, it's going to just be bumping heads with your significant other because you're allowing to... My bad, I'm all into this game. You're allowing um, them to to destroy your relationship. And it shouldn't have to be that way because family, regardless if they like the person or not, they should just be happy for you. It doesn't matter what it is or what it what it's not. Like they should need to just be happy, you know. Like at the end of the day, that's just what it's about. Like I'm sure their grandmas and their grandpas or their moms and dads didn't choose their significant other, but they still continue with their life. So why let them ruin your happiness? Um. But like to all my fellas, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't cool laying your hands on a woman. If it just makes you a coward. And I think the best thing, the best advice I could give is if the way you started off your relationship, that's how your relationship, you should keep it that th through the whole time. And that literally will help and work like through everything. 
like through the ups and downs in and outs you know and it's not about like oh you know um i only got to be there for you when you need me but what about when i need you you're not there like no it has to be like i said it has to be 100 100 because it's not it's just not fair like you know what i'm saying and then that's where that's where you know others start making people feel like damn you know you're choosing all these other people over me but what about me if you so called love me and care about me like what about me like you're not seeing that you're just seeing how to make the other people happy that are telling you like oh no you know you need to be doing this you need to be doing that like that's not the right way to go the right way to go is for you to make your own decisions and be like hey you know what i love this person i'm gonna stick it out with this person and we're gonna ride ride and die we're gonna be like batman and robin or like catwoman and batman whatever you know or we're gonna be like superman and wonder woman it ain't about like there's in between because when you put other people involved and you let other people control your life you ain't ever gonna get nowhere like that so yeah, you know, I was supposed to give y'all some pickup lines, but I'll probably do that in another video because right now I'm all into my game, honestly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm trying to watch my game and I'm trying to vlog at the same time. And so I really didn't vlog today. And like I said, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the, you know, Mexican mothers out there. And happy Mother's Day to my grandmothers. Because unfortunately, I'm blessed to still have both of my grandmothers. So happy Mother's Day to them. And happy Mother's Day to my mother and to, you know, all my aunts that are from Mexico. You know, I love you all. To all my cousins that are in Mexico, I love you all. And I have a sister, but I didn't tell my sister Happy Mother's Day because I'll tell my sister till Sunday, which is the pro, because my sister was born here, so, in the United States. So, you know, if I didn't tell anybody Happy Mother's Day, don't take it offended, you know what I'm saying? Basically, the only woman that I told Happy Mother's Day where my was my mom you know my you know my grandma's whatnot but you know and i did post it on my tiktok and stuff so that's dead hold on so yeah you know what i'm saying uh nobody take it offended you know if you're a mother and i know you're a mother i trust me you're gonna get a happy mother's day for me but you're gonna gonna get you're gonna get it on our sunday <laughs> So don't take that offense, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even tell my baby mama Happy Mother's Day. Why? Because at the end of the day, she was born here. So I haven't even told her Happy Mother's Day. Um, But, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? To keep a healthy relationship is just to, to be honest and be 100 and don't lie. And, you know, everything will work out. But like I said, you can't have people trying to, you know, tell you how to, you know, how to run your relationship because at the end of the day it's between you and your significant other not between you know you you and them because it's not it's never it's always going to be fights and fights and fights and it, it always has to be it always has to be a hundred and hundred because if it ain't a hundred and a hundred then it just ain't right and i also had somebody tell me too like man why do you try talking black first of all that's just how i talk and maybe that's just how I talk because when I was growing up as a kid, um, it was elementary, middle school, and high school. The majority of my of my crew were African American people. Like, how was I supposed to talk, talk to them in Spanish or what? You know what I'm saying? They would have been looking at me like, "What the hell?" Like, I would I would tell them like the bad stuff because they always would tell me like, "Man, how do you say this and that?" And there was my evil last telling them how to say stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing wrong with how I talk. That's just how I always talk, you know? Um, a lot of people don't always bring that to my attention. Like, man, why you pretend like you... Man, like, I know what I am, but this is just how I talk. This is just me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what y'all tripping on. <laughs> like, you know, obviously, if you don't know me from back then, then you don't know me well, because this, this always been me. Um, but anyways, though, uh... I'm about to end this video because I got to edit it for you guys. And then I got to lay down already and get ready to try to get a little bit of sleep. Because I got church tomorrow in the morning. So I will see y'all tomorrow. And once again, happy Mother's Day to all the Mexican mothers. And don't forget to like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Join the team, join the squad. 
and I'm almost at 900 followers on TikTok. I'm five followers away from hitting 900, and that's so crazy because I just hit 800, what, I think it was the day before yesterday. But anyways, I'm out, though. And remember, if you're drinking, don't drive. Get a designated driver, and I'm out. Shoot. Sure.